traumatic. That's perhaps the best word to describe last night for the Israeli public following Iran's attack. But for the families of the Israeli hostages still being held captive in Gaza for 191 days now, the psychological warfare is nothing new. Anyone who agrees that they should be returned, and I think that is the majority of the people, should stop and do everything to return them. The biggest problem, in my view, is the normalization. The normalization of this situation, where people continue their lives while there are families who pay the heaviest price. The only difference is that Iran's attack is derailing international headlines, replacing the plight of the hostages with the fight against Iran. In fact, even this morning, when the Mossad announced that Hamas had rejected the latest ceasefire proposal on the table, that major piece of news was completely sidelined by Iran's assault on Israel. People don't understand that this serves Netanyahu as well. This assassination was intentional to create the emergency situation that makes people stay at home, disperses the protests, but at least the families and people who accompany them and fight for Netanyahu's resignation will not surrender and will not let the fear make them stay at home. There are still over 130 Israeli hostages being held captive in Gaza. Last night saw many of their families take to the streets of Tel Aviv to protest for their immediate release. Those protests were broken up when the news came out of Iran's imminent attack. And even though Hamas actually rejected the latest hostage deal offer last night at 7 p.m., an official statement on the matter wasn't released until this morning. It's horrifying that the government started this ordeal with Iran, and the only thing that should be talked about and anyone would do is just to get back all the hostages back home at any, any, any price. There is no price for, uh, for people's lives. Last night's anxiety about Iran's impending attack on Israel was certainly a trauma for every Israeli. But following Israel's incredible show of defense, this morning, many woke up feeling safer than ever in their own country. Sadly, the hostages and their families can't say the same. They're still waiting to see when the world will finally show up for them.